Well, I think this is the first time we've spoken uh, since your interview when you joined the club. How have you been settling in in your, in your first couple of months? Um, it's been been really good so far. Everyone's been really welcoming. Um, training's been good. And obviously, we've started the season really well. So I think everyone's in a really good position. I feel really happy with my performance so far. Look, I mean, we have to talk about the hair. It, 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 caused, <laughs> it caused quite a stir last weekend, mainly because I think it was in forest green colours. But there must be method in the madness here. You're going to have to talk us through it. Um. Simple fact, obviously, I, I change my hair quite often. Um, I normally do it seasonal. Um, obviously, October coming up, I did have Halloween in mind. Um, but before that, I was supposed to have it about a week or so, week or so before um, the Forest Green game because our, our goalkeeping kit is green, which is the same colour as my hair. But obviously, unfortunately, my hair just cancelled, so I had to get it done the week of the Forest game, which unfortunately, we weren't wearing green. So are we, we going to see some blue and some pink at some point to match the other kits? Uh, we'll definitely see some blues, uh, possibly pink again, um, maybe in red by the end of by Christmas time. So you never know. I'm thinking maybe some, some red and white stripes to, to really could, fit in. Could possibly try that. <laughs> um, that Forest Green game, obviously a fourth league clean sheet. You didn't have too much to do, but what you did do, you did very well. Big, big double save uh, alongside Alex Hartridge clearing off the line. You, you must have been pleased with your performance. Um, yeah, obviously I was happy to get a clean sheet. Obviously it's a, it's a team team game when we get a clean sheet. It's all of us putting in the effort together. So I've been quite fortunate to get four so far. I obviously want to get more. Um, luckily enough on the weekend, I didn't have too much to do and obviously... When I, would, when I did, I was fortunate to be ready and obviously having Alex and everyone back there to help me as well and to have the confidence in me really helps. Obviously, there's no shying away for, from the defensive injuries you've got at the moment. You've obviously been, been playing with lots of different combinations of, of defenders in front of you. What, what's it been like? Because I, it, it can't be easy having that back three changing so often. Yeah, it's been it's been unfortunate, obviously, with the injuries. Um, I think a few of the boys are close to returning to training soon. But I think we've been quite lucky where we are quite close with each other, and I mean, we are a team where we, we try to look after each other and, and clean up the things that people mess up and obviously stick together. So we've been quite lucky as a defensive unit where we're all together, and during the week we all get the practice in with the, the team that's going to start and be able to go towards the games and, and feel confident. I imagine this is a, probably a bit where your experience comes in as well. You've had the likes of Harry Kite and Josh Key, who, who aren't natu- naturally central defensive-minded players. You must be able... Well, obviously, Pierce Serene is a very experienced defender as well, but as a goalkeeper, have you been using your experience to sort of dictate where you want them to be? Yeah, I've been able to um, talk to them. Obviously, I've been lucky with Josh Key being a defender uh, right back anyway. And a wing back, so him being able to slot in been really helpful. And obviously, Kite as a as a holding mid, he has that role of being in front of the, the centre backs anyway. So it wasn't too hard for him to slot in and and get that role. So we've been quite fortunate with the people who have actually been able to go into those roles and and perform really well. So I think we've, we're lucky with the team we have. We've seen on in, on social media in the last couple of weeks, um, Latoya Edgerton, one of our fans, has been cooking meals I think it started with you and now she seems to have an extra city empire on the go she's cooking for half the team I think how, how did that come about um no literally just I normally have meal preps um a few places I've been to uh obviously was trying to find somewhere here in Exeter like, like the food and to be fair her page popped up on my social media and I had a look um I gave it a try myself um, my daughter's mom had tried it and she said she, liked, she enjoyed the food as well so I thought let me give it a try uh, where I get it from and I was happy enough to pass it on and it seems everyone's enjoying it at the moment so fingers crossed it stays that way I think we have to have to try it ourselves it, it does look good and I, I know Latoya well I know, she, <laughs> I know she's enjoying doing it um, on to Saturday's game um, Port Vale and Forest Green two sides we came up with um, we've both beaten 4-0 so time to take on Bristol Rovers now they might be struggling a little bit but they're a very good side 
Yeah, we've we've seen that they've got a big squad and they've got a good good uh, caliber of players in that squad as well. Obviously, they're not had the best start to the season, but that's something you never know. It could be one game, it could be turning point for them, or it could be a good day for us. And that's that's the good thing about football. I think the the way we've played and how we've been quite consistent and trying to play the the right way, I think that will that will might rattle them a little bit. And I think going forward to that game, we should it'll be a good game. That's- said to be a sellout crowd on Saturday. How does the Big Bank and the atmosphere at St James Park compare to other clubs you've played at? So you've, you've played all over the world and we know what different atmospheres there can be. How, how does SJP compare? No, I mean, I mean it's a great great atmosphere every game, home game. I, I, I enjoy coming to the home games. I know the fans always be behind us. I enjoy going warm-ups to talk to the fans and see them. So I always say like being in, and having that interaction with the the fans and knowing that they have your backing even if it's not going right or it's going well they're always going to be there for you and I think that's the most important thing and we've been quite lucky with that here we have that 